Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, let's do this problem right here. This question is asking a uh, 4 meter high and 6 meter wide wall consists of a long 18 centimeter times 30 centimeter cross section of horizontal bricks. And they have given the thermal conductivity separated by 3 centimeter thick plastic layer, and again, thermal conductivity of the plasters right here. There are also 2 cm thick plaster layer on each side of the wall and 2 cm thick rigid form also thermal conductivity of that one is also provided on the inner side of the wall. The indoor and outdoor temperatures are 20 degrees Celsius, 22 degrees Celsius and negative 4 degrees Celsius and the convection heat transfer coefficient on the inner and outer sides are H1 is equal to this one and H2 is equal to this one respectively assuming one dimensional heat transfer and re disregarding radiation determine the rate of heat transfer through the wall so questions are seen to find the determine the rate of heat transfer through the wall let's see how you can find it so here what we are going to do we are going to calculate the resistance in each of them and then we are going to calculate the heat transfer rate right so let's draw a sample diagram for this resistance so first we are going to have convection right here. So here we are, this T infinity 1, T infinity 2. So we are going to have resistance starting from here. So first one is going to be T uh, resistant convection. So let's say this Ri convection. And then we have this layer right here that is formed. Then let's call this one R1. Then we have this one right here. This is plaster, so let's say it's R2, and then we have 3. We only look at the part that's crossed right here, this part, right? So we have these three layers, brick and plaster in those, these two sides. So this, this is, these two are in parallel, so we have to draw three parallels right here, right? Parallel. So let's call this one R3, R4, and R5. And then we have again this one. So that's in series. So let's combine this together. And then we have this one. This is R6. And then we have outer convection. So that is R out. And this from here is T infinity 1 and here we have T infinity 2. So these are the order. Now let's go ahead and find uh, the resistance for each of them individually and then, add, and then add them together. Right? So initially we have convection, this outside. So whenever we have outside surface, this is surrounding is going to be convection. So these two surroundings are going to be convection, all the others are going to be conduction. Right? So first one is starting from convection. So let's calculate that one. R I initial, the, that's convection. So whenever we have convection, we use this one. 1 over H A S. And if we have conduction, we use L over K A. Right? And this is the generic equation. Now let, let's go ahead and plug this equation and find each values. So let's start with the convection. That's going to be 1 over A S. Right, H A S, right? So this is going to be it. Now we need area right here, right? H is H that's provided right here, H1, 10 watts per meter square. But we need the area for this one. So let's calculate the area. So we are interested in this area right now. The total area is different, that's given by 4 meter height and 6 meter wide. But first we consider this part and then we find it for, so we take the portion and calculate the values and then we can calculate the for total area. First let's take this portion. This height is 30 centimeter plus 1.5, 1.5. This is 33 centimeter, right? So that is same as 0 0.33 meter. And let's take uh, 1, meters, 1 meter deep. So this is going to be 0 0.33 meter square is going to be the area. So we are going to apply this area for all of this surface area and cross-sectional area. So this is going to be 1 over H 
initial h1 that's provided 10 bats per meter square so let's put 10 right here times area that is 0 0.33 and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 0 0.3030 degrees celsius per bats so this is inside then r1 now we can so let's take the r1 r1 is this part right so this is our r1 part that is form and that is conduction right so we are going to apply conduction is the equation that is l over k a so whenever we use this this is cross sectional area but area is going to be same anyway right then we have square shape cross sectional area and surface area is going to be same so here we have l that's going to be thickness that is 2 centimeter so we can put 2 times 10 to the power of minus 2 or 0 0.02 meter over k thermal conductivity for form that is given by thermal conductivity for form is given by 0 0.026 watts per meter kelvin so that's going to be the value we are going to put right here 0 0.026 watts per meter kelvin times the area that's 0 0.33 right and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 2.331 degrees celsius per watts now let's go ahead and find this one plaster in the sides so plaster in the sides is going to be r2 thickness is same right r2 have two centimeter thickness and uh, in this one if you six, see this uh, r6 right here so this is r2 and r6 thickness is same material is same and the area also same so we can equate both of them both of them are going to be equal so let's say r2 is equal to r6 and that's going to be l over k so if you if you find one of them both of them are going to be equal now let's plug the values thickness is 2 centimeter so this is going to be 0 0.02 and then thermal conductivity for plaster thermal conductivity for plaster is given by 0 0.22 watts per meter kelvin so this is going to be so let's make sure side and middle are same yeah both of them are same so this is going to be the value so it's going to be 0 0.0 actually 0 0.22 0 0.22 times the area that's going to be 0 0.33 right 33 and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 0 0.27 Five five degrees Celsius per watts. Now we have calculated R two and R six. Now we are going to the middle part. Middle part is a little bit tricky because the area is going to be different. And let's solve the middle part uh, plastic layers. So we have this layer and this layer right here, right? So those are one point five centimeter height and uh, one meter square length so this is going to be so if we calculate both of them are going to be equal r5 and r3 is going to be equal because both both of them have same material thickness is same so both of them are going to be equal so let's calculate the values r and this is 0. Uh, the thickness of this middle part that's going to be 0. Point, 0.0 so this is the thickness we are interested in right so this is 1.8 uh, so let's equate both of them r3 is equal to r5 and both of them are conduction this is going to be l over k a and the thickness for both of them is 18 centimeter right so here we are going to have 0 0.18 meter on top 
and then in the denominator we have k that's going to be same as this one 0 0.22 and then the area now area is going to be different each of them have 1.5 centimeter if it's 33 we got 30, 0 0.33 if it's 1.5 this is going to be now 0 0.015 times 1 meter so that's going to give us 0 0.015 meter square so that's the area we have to use right here. So this is going to be 0 0.015 for each of the plastic layers. So that's going to give us 0. Point, 0. Point, I mean no, not 0. Point. It's actually really high. 54.55 degrees Celsius per watts. Now let's go ahead for the next one. So we have found R3, R5. We have found R for the middle part brick. So R4 is equal to, that's again conductivity. So that's going to be L over K. And that is equal to the thickness is by 18 centimeter for the brick, right? So 18 centimeters, again 0 0.118 over thermal conductivity of the brick is given by right here it's 0 0.72 0 0.72 times the area now the area is going to be 30 centimeter right this height is 30 centimeter again we use 0 0.30 times 1 meter square meter times 1 meter square 1 meter that's going to give us 0 0.3 meter square so that's the area we are going to apply 0 0.3 and if you calculate this one that's going to give you that's uh, that's going to give you 0 0.8 3 degrees celsius per watts so now we have all the information now let's see what we can do with this but here the tricky part is these three are in parallel right if you have taken I mean if you have taken physics 2 you know when we have resistance in parallel the R equivalent is going to be 1 over R1 1 over R2 something like that right so here the R equivalent for these three is going to be 1 over R3 plus 1 over R4 plus 1 over R5 so that's what, uh, that's what we are going to do to combine this together so when we combine this is this will become series then we can add everything right when, when they are in series we can add directly when the resistance are in parallel we add them like this so let's go ahead and find this value so let's raise some of these parts right so let's continue this here Now we have this this equation. Now I one R equivalent. Let's call this one R three four five is equal to one over R three. That is fifty four point five five degrees Celsius. All right. So fifty four point five five degrees Celsius per watts and plus. 1 over 0 0.833 plus 1 over 54.55 and if you add them together and find the R value R345 is going to be equal to 0 0.8086 degrees Celsius per watts now we have calculated this one now let's find the R total R total is going to be addition of all of this we just eliminate this R3, this one, and R335 and 4. Because now we have found the equivalent for series. Now we have to add these three together and this one twice. This one comes twice, right? R2 and R6. And then we add this one with the equivalent resistor we found out right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is going to be. 0. Point. So let's write in J 
generic formula first to make uh, about confusions. Okay, generic formula is going to be R i plus R R one plus two R two because R two and R six are same. I can instead of saying R two plus R six, I can also say two R two because both of them are equal, right? Plus R three four five plus R outside. Now let's go ahead and plug the values. R inside is zero point three zero three zero plus two point three three one plus two times plus two times maybe use a different color this is not clear okay r r e first inside that's zero point three zero three zero plus two point three three one plus two times zero point two seven five five plus zero point eight zero eight six plus zero point one five one five and if you add them together that's going to give you four point one four five degrees celsius per watts but here we are trying to find heat transfer right so we have found the total r resistance now we have to find the heat transfer to find the heat transfer we use this equation so let's raise this part and continue this one right here right q dot is what we are trying to find q dot is equal to t infinity 1 so this is inside surrounding temperature and minus t infinity 2 over r total now let's plug the value inside temperature so indoor is given by 22 degrees Celsius so this is indoor this is outdoor so this is going to be 22 minus minus 4 over r total that's what we calculated right here 4.145 4.145 and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 6.273 watts but remember this is for only 0. Point, we only took 0. 0.33 meters square but the total area is 4 times 6 here if you see 4 meter high 6 meter wide so to calculate the total heat transfer we have to use a different equation like we have to calculate total so what we can do is q dot total is equal to this one q dot whatever we found q dot times the area of the total area 4 times 6 over this area 0 0.33 and if you divide that one that's going to give you total area I mean total heat transfer 3 3 and let's go ahead and find it so this q dot we found out 6.273 273 times 4 times 6 24 over 0 0.33 and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 456 watts and that's going to be the total heat transfer and that's how we do this kind of problems I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.